Hare Krishna, in Bhagavad Gita 434, uh, Lord Krishna speaks about the importance of spiritual inquiry. That uh, says, that we have a partner, Pari Krishna, Sevia, Upadex and Tehyam, Ghanas, Tatva, Darshinaha. So try to learn that uh, the truth, absolute truth, by approaching a spiritual master, inquire from him, um, serving him in a submissive way. In the purpose, Srila Prabhupada writes, inquiries and submission constitute a proper combination for spiritual understanding. So what is the importance of this inquiring? Dr. Shabadev, in the fifth canto of the, of the Shema Bhagavatam, he says, Prabhava stava abhodya jato yavana jishnasta atma tatvam. As long as one does not inquire about the spiritual values of life, one is subjected to miseries arising from ignorance. That, uh, so, one should try to understand one's spiritual position. And that is a great challenge, not only for the people in this world, but even for aspiring spiritualists. That um, in, this, in this life, in this society, modern society, some questions are taboo questions. When I was a child, I was seven years old, I inquired from my mother, where do I come from? And she told me, Pooh, we found you in a cauliflower. Then five years later, I was 12 years, I asked my mother, these old people, when, when they die, where do they go? She put, she put a hand over her pal, 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 uh, over, over the palm of her hand on my forehead, and looked at me with concern and said, are you not feeling well today? So if one asks these questions, where do I come from? That uh, I appeared in this life, where, what was my position before birth? And um, where do I go when I die? Who am I? What is the purpose of my life? Because I see that everyone is dying. Whatever you want to achieve in your life, finish at the time of death. So it's finally all for nothing. So why do I live that uh, it requires spiritual IQ to understand it? If you ask this question in modern society, you are not considered normal. They will say this person cannot enjoy normally. He needs uh, a psychiatrist. That uh, these are taboo questions. But in the Vedic system, children were made aware from a, a young age. You are the spirit soul. You are not a body, and the body is temporary that um, all this engagement to give pleasure to a temporary body is futile. So what is the, the purpose of my life? This is all explained in Bhagavad Gita and in the Srimad Bhagavatam. In the Vedic literature, it's clear that we are, we are here because of our own desire to enjoy separate from Krishna. And the whole creation is an organization that is organized by Krishna to bring us back to the spiritual world. If we status in our attempts to enjoy separate from him. And 
by that we get karma for our own actions that uh, this is the other architect of our own happiness but that requires spiritual understanding and where does this spiritual understanding come from that we see even after hearing Bhagavad Gita and so on we continue to act as the body that uh, we continue to act according to our attachment it's so strong and all this and every is futile we know it in the back of our head but we still do it so it requires purification of the heart that otherwise this attachment remain and it requires the development of spiritual IQ spiritual IQ is not obtained by the brain the brain is material how can you understand through the brain something that is spiritual it's it, it will remain always very superficial the deeper understanding comes to the heart to the soul that and Lord Krishna explains in 10 of Bhagavad Gita, Te Sam Sata Yuknam Bhatsam Pitvurkam Dadami Bodhyogam Yena Mam Upayam Pite. That if, if one serves me with a little love, one pleases me, one pleases Krishna when one pleases his representative, the spirit or master. If one pleases Krishna, then the Dhami, Krishna gives, says, I give Buddha Yoga spiritual intelligence by which you can understand me. There is some Emphonakampuram, Amagyana, Jamtama, Nasa Jamat, Mabhavasta Gamat, Panyapashuka. From within the heart, I give this understanding. So only by hearing from the spiritual master and inquiring, can we make spiritual advancement? This is, this is uh, very important. We should be inquisitive about understanding who we are, a servant of Krishna, and how to act as a spirit soul, how to act at the, at the spiritual platform, and be very eager for that. That eagerness will grow when we inquire especially for more advanced souls who have realized it and in association of devotees like the sons here of Rishabhadev that they were hearing from their father who was an avaduta he was a paramahamsa that and just by this inquiry nine of his sons became also paramahamsas so it, it it's so powerful, but we should be eager to understand our spiritual position that, and make spiritual advancement. And then our interest in, in, in this temporary material world we will dwindle and we will realize, yes, that this attachment go. It is so futile that when one, one has lost his attachment living or dying is the same living means yes i'm going to the next body and i continue serving krishna it's not a big deal we continue our path of of, of trying to please krishna in various ways either in the material in the spiritual world, either birth after birth, for a self-realized soul, it doesn't matter being in the spiritual world of here. Hare Krishna. Jai Prabhupada.